Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Rebel Galaxy. We've got an incoming hail. Now, the second I logged into the game, it told me, um, Trell told me that there was a dreadnought on its way toward us, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. My translation software doesn't understand a word. Can you understand anything I'm saying? They kind of look like the Covenant from Halo. That sounds bad. Indeed. I was able to translate a portion of the Viriat's language based on old records. It will have to wait, however. The Viriat's vessel is arming weapons. So, we have a Viriax Dreadnought um, on our way. Oh, yeah, hi. We need to get away from you. <clears throat> now then, to let you guys know kind of what's been going on off camera, I went ahead and installed that Mark VI um, Viriax turret onto our main turret, onto our Alpha. And I equipped, or I upgraded a few of our defensive systems. I was leaving the station to go find a place that had impact shields, but we don't seem to be having that luck today. So let's focus on taking out these fighters, and then I guess we'll give our full attention to the Dreadnought. Which I'm rather confident we're not going to be able to uh, make a den in. Now that's the uh, Viriax turret there that just fired. See these three missiles that are just splitting off. Let's deal with this missile frigate. And <clears throat> without the militia, I don't think we have the firepower for this. We may have to run, unless we can get that Dreadnought really close to the station. I don't know, we'll have to see. Hit with all the lasers. Oh holy crap, the Dreadnought's down! Nice! So that station has some definite firepower. I like it. We'll just go ahead and claim... We'll claim credit for that. Why not? Let's keep it going. Gonna be some good salvage out here in space today. Hopefully some more Mark VI Viriax weaponry. Because those, uh... Those weapons do a lot of damage, I look... I, from what I saw. So. I have isolated three possible locations where the fragment may be located. We will need to approach each one to allow for a precision scan. Gotcha. But first, we will grab the pure water and the diamonds, and everything else these ships dropped. Because as you can see, we've got over 6 million credits right now. Um, what I'm going to do is make a beeline for the Mercenary Guild. Because they should have some pretty good gear for us here in this system. Since this is probably the nastiest system in the game, I would assume. Let's go ahead and grab the gold. And I think that was it. Unfortunately, no cargo container. By the way, guys, I'm still a little bit under the weather, so I do apologize if I have a coughing fit or something. Let's, uh, we got some Viriac ships here out in the black. Let's give them our full attention. Got this gunship. And... Oh, that was nice. Yeah, if you guys want to keep on uh, giving me diamonds, I'm okay with that. Commencing attack run. 
All right. This sector is clear. So, Mercenaries Guild is up here. And there's a crime wave going on, apparently. <clears throat> and look at that, it's only 2,000 space units away. It's on the other side of the system. So this area is, of space is probably very, very concentrated. We'll leave un unidentified signals for now. Because we, we need to get ourselves geared up, and quickly. We are approaching one of the potential locations. What? This appears to be a very outpost of some sort. Oh, I went to the wrong way! Level, it will take a few moments to complete the precision scan. Oh, hell's bells. Alright, forget it, Donnie. You're out of your element. Where is... Where am I? Holy crap. Yeah, I went the exact opposite of where I needed to go. I see... I see cargo containers. Well, let's... Let's grab the cargo container at least. Oh, this is bad. It's over half a million credits there, or almost half a million credits. The fragment is not at this location. We should proceed to one of the others. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, pulse. There was one more thing of cargo. We're going to, uh, risk our ship here. To grab it, and then we are going to flee. Like our ship is on fire. Because there's a strong possibility that that's going to happen if we stay here for long. <clears throat> okay. We got over half a million there, and got some diamonds, some grill whiskey. All kinds of nifty stuff. Let's fly by here, grab this one. More designer clothes and whiskey. Excellent. Well then, this is uh, certainly coming off as a very interesting episode so far. Distress speaking? No. <clears throat> Not just yet. Oh, I'm sorry for clearing my throat, guys. It's just bad juju. And what we got here? Do we have more Greel attacking? Oh, Red Devil Pirates. Huh. Well, we'll give them our attention after we leave here. Refill ordinance. 20,000 credits. Eh, we can afford it. Now then. Alien artifacts are marked up big, as is whiskey. Pure water is okay. Actually, everything here is pretty decent in terms of the system average. So, let's just go ahead and empty the hold. That gives us almost 8 million credits to play around with, and this base should have all the stuff that we need. Now, right now I have a Mark VI ceramic hull plating, a Mark VI deflector, Mark V impact shields, which is not what I'm needing right now. And in terms of weapons, I've got the Mark VI um, image recognition turret, and... That's about it at the moment. We haven't started upgrading our turrets yet to Mark VI. I want to go ahead and get our defense dealt with first and foremost. Now, let us see. Mark VI anti-matter probe, particle laser, shield buster, swarm turret. Hmm, no mining turrets. <clears throat> now, what do we have can't upgrade our speed at all. Alright, so this was kind of a bust. Let's look at the mission board here. And now we have some high money contracts here in the, uh, check this out, safe passage, over 700,000. It's an escort though, so I wouldn't do it. But let's, um, where should we go? 
Doesn't look like the militia have a station in this area. Treaty vessel. Let's hope. Let's head to the militaristic outpost here at Hop Station. And I guess it makes sense that the militia wouldn't have a presence here. But maybe that station. Whoa! Quit blowing holes in my ship. Hopefully that'll be enough. Or that militaristic station will have the gear that we need. To give me just that little bit of offensive boom that I'm wanting. Now, it looks like the militia can actually take out this Red Devil Gargantua. Let's see if we can uh, help out a little bit and grab any salvage. Ooh! No! Bad ship! That was not on the agenda. Get our deflectors up. And this Gargantua is going down. You better have some good gear. <clears throat> An ordnance crate. We'll grab that. Oh, it was nothing but ordnance. That's unfortunate. Now, I did see... We saw some nuts and bolts there. We don't really need those. Ow. And munitions cargo. A malicious super destroyer. Really glad I don't have any illegal cargo right now. That would be... <coughs> Excuse me. Most unpleasant. Oh, there's another Gargantua. Holy crap. This is a very dangerous sector of space. And since they seem apt on shooting at me... See, this is what happens when I get sick, guys. It comes in waves. Like, the most annoying... I start feeling a little bit, you know, bad. Then it starts getting really bad. And I, instead of having, like, all my symptoms at once, I have them one at a time. So I had the sore throat, then I had the congestion, the congestion's gone, and the sore throat's gone. Now the coughing will replace it. So... Yeah... My, uh, immune system is weird sometimes. Now... What do we got here? Lots of militia. At least we got a lot of support here, if we absolutely need it. Refill ordnance for 4,000. Sure. Now defense. Looks like they, they're only selling Mark VI shields. <clears throat> so I'll tell you what. Um, we'll go ahead and get Mark VI shields for now. And sell the impact shields. We'll go ahead and grab Mark VI impact if we see them along the way. But let's work right now on getting ourselves up to speed here. Now, let's go ahead. We got the Mark VI mining laser. Looks like we can get two of them. And sell the Mark V. What we're going to do first is we're going to grab all these mining lasers, replace them with Mark VI. Maybe we'll find another Mark VI Viridian laser. I doubt it. That'll be replaced la or after the mining lasers. And then, if we get another Mark VI somehow, we may replace this turret, because I don't know if I'm particularly a fan of it, because I can't really pay... I don't pay a whole lot of attention to where the shots are going. With the lasers, I can. So. All right. Now, actually, let's see how much it's going to cost to speed us up here. Plasma drive... Mark 6 booster. What's the null grab? 16 seconds of slow acceleration to very high maximum speeds. And the warp drive. So fortunately, those aren't too bad. Let's go ahead and check the mission board. Three relays. Huge quantity of pure water in one of their chrono... Oh, this is here in the system too. Unspeakable. 
Organ harvesters. Oh, nice. Okay. Now, this can pay off really well for us, guys. Let's go ahead and do this. Because I just... I, it's not even going to pay us that much. I just really want to show you... Because uh, I got a lot of money off camera when I did that. Citizenry, Marath scavengers... Nothing really high paying here. Let's visit the bar. Oh, there's Skiska. We have not found Sparrow yet. You probably should go on, like, some sort of quest to try and find Sparrow. Because we've got... Oh, I didn't know you could zoom in this close. That's awesome. Let's head to... This outpost. I mean, it's right next door. And look at that. You got Hop Station right here. And this other station, like, really, really close by. That's strange. Now, I wonder if the system changes every time you start a new game. I was actually wondering about that, because you have the sector map, and we're right here in the extreme threat level. But over here, it's mild. So I wonder, depending on the game that you choose, sometimes you'll, you'll uh, start over here in these systems, and then maybe sometimes you'll start over here. I don't know. <laughs> Definitely something to uh, consider for the future, maybe. Oh, hi, Virax. Well, we got a destroyer here. Is that no? We don't destroy the base. What are you doing? Why were we? That was unfortunate. No, do we? No, we have nothing here in the hold. Sparrow? Yes. Ah, just screwed. Hmm. All right, let's get our deflectors up here so we don't destroy this nice base of operations. There we go. Oh. Okay, fighting near a dock, not advisable. Get rid of this vampire. I owe you a debt of gratitude. Here, take this. Oh, for 28,000. I didn't even know there was a... That's awesome. I didn't know there was a distress call. So I think we're going to hang out right here and blast this destroyer. And it should have some good gear in it. This is where we got all those cargo pods from the last time. That had all the good gear. Oh, I see one. What do you got for me? Mark V Tachyon Cannon and Alien Artifacts. Cool, cool. Well, let's go grab some uh, live organs. Now, this is an interesting mission, because not only do you have to attack alien sh or, uh, ships that come in waves, but there are these organ harvesters that just have a ton of live organs in them, and we have to destroy them and grab them as quickly as we can. Well, not necessarily as quickly as we can. We can wipe out all the opposition. But, I mean, we'll fill the hold with a ton of live organs. Now, we need to be careful about that because of all the militia ships here in the sector that have uh, now taken the time to jump in through the gate we created. Now let's see how much damage that... Well, those missiles do a little bit of damage. Now, that goes away. And we got tons of live organs. I think about five or six units per harvester. And the Korean ships have arrived. We're just going to sit here and grab everything while uh, our turrets and Steve do all the fighting for us. There we go. Now there's also mines around, so we need to be aware of that. Now, it looks like these Corian ships are 
beefed up for the sector. Let's uh, get our deflectors up. Because we don't have the high impact shields anymore, unfortunately. Ow! That's rude. And we got more enemy craft inbound, which is not good. Got a lot of green beams. Well, maybe th now would be a good time to get our Mark VI Viridian turret. Oh crap, we just lost Steve. Well, that's unfortunate. Mark V Anti-Manter Drive. Oh, holy crap. Look at all these guys. This might have been a bad... Yeah, we're actually getting thrashed here. Woo! Let's get our deflectors up. And we got more enemy craft inbound. Which is not good. Look at all that green. It's like Christmas time. Deadly, deadly Christmas time. But with Steve down, they can give us uh, their full attention. Which I don't really want their full attention. Now, here come the fighters. Ah! Come on, if we get these fighters down and we just have to deal with the big ships, we'll be fine. We got some of the light ships here, the pat patrol craft. Okay. All the fighters are down. I think. Now if we just focus here on the big ships, we'll be in good shape. <coughs> Excuse me. I do not want a Doc Holiday-like coughing fit to keep me from winning this. Now the dredger is the one with the ton of deflectors. So we need to wait for this to subside. Or can they have their deflectors up as long as they want to? Which is not really fair. There we go. Alright. Hit with everything we've got. And up go the deflectors again. Now the good news is that I think everything that is going to show up has shown up. There we go. There goes the dredger. And they drop diamonds, so that'll take care of our repair costs. And by the way, that is the reasoning why I am not a big fan of these. Actually, I'm probably going to sell the Mark VI um, image recognition, just because I don't think it's doing a whole lot of damage. Not when the lasers all working together cause so much boom. Speaking of boom. Yeah, and because I'll, I'll have to worry about ordnance, and that's not particularly good for long fights like this. So, come on, Light Frigate, you are the last one. There we go. Nuts and bolts. Useless. But now, we can give our full attention to the organ harvesters. And there should be more than just one. And I know we've had a little bit of damage to our hull. Oh, cargo containers. What you got for me? Yik yak meat and munitions. Not really what I'm needing. Oh, we got more Corians here.
Well then, let's see if we can deal with these one at a time. Here's the next organ harvester. So we're actually probably one turret down, unfortunately, because of our uh, lack of ordnance. But this live, these live organs, which are a bonus for doing this quest, by the way, should be all that we need to repair the ship, get a little bit of pocket money, and potentially get a new mercenary. Because I don't think I want to get a new mercenary until I can find the upgraded Sparrow. And here we go with another one. Now, what is that there? Oh, it's another cargo container. So this is going to be profitable for us in a lot of different ways. And that was for a quarter of a million credits, not including the uh, profit we're going to get from these organs. I don't think the people who gave us this job, I think the militia gave us this job actually, really intend for us to sell the stuff. They're expecting us to just let them lie, but that's wasteful. And we got some robots. Anything else here in this system? We got some more cargo over here. What is it? Nuts and bolts, and... There's a grouping over here of stuff that I may have missed from when we were fighting the Corians earlier. And it looks like there's one more Corian ship in need of boom. <clears throat> oh! Did all of it disappear? No, it's there's gold. We want the gold. Oh, the hole is full. No! It's filled with organs. But it looks like this dredger is the last of the lot. Let's see if we can take it down. Maybe get some, uh, one more cargo container. And then we can go ahead and sell all this stuff off. And I'm just going to sit there and take a full broadside from it. And looks like its deflectors are having some trouble keeping up with mine. There we go. And you had some gold. That's unfortunate, but I guess we're going to go ahead and let it float. And let's head to Nike Run, because it's, like, right next to this. This station has... this area has three bases that are very, very close together. Check that out. Yeah, just a nice little triangle there. Oh, had some space debris. But hopefully this base doesn't have any militia near it, and if so, we can dock quickly. That looks like a militia ship right there. Uh-oh. Um... Why is there militia ships next to a criminal outpost? Are they cracking down? Quickly. Quickly. Okay. Got it before the militia found us. And diamonds are good. Live organs. Oh yeah, gonna make a definite profit here. Alien artifacts aren't that low. Diamonds are on the up. And that gave us two, almost 2.5 million credits there. So, check this out. We are going to go ahead and sell that turret for 3.3 million. 
because it's captured Viriax technology, but I like to uh, buy American as it as the uh, as it goes, or as the saying goes. Now we also have a Mark V antimatter drive. That's actually faster than the one that I have. Ooh. Um. Yeah, just by a little bit. Let's go ahead and install that. And we've got the. We'll sell the tachyon cannon and that drive. So we've got seven million. Now then, where are you at? Mark six mining laser. And I actually we can get one more. That still gives almost a million million credits to play with. Now let's visit the bar. Well, first let's repair the ship. Repairs complete. Had a lot of damage to the hull plating. And we got Skiska. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. I mean, we this uh, grind to Mark 6 is a lot faster than that grind to Mark 5. Holy crap. But I'm going to try and track down Sparrow, and then we'll see where we go from there. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. I will see you next time. Later days, everyone.